this video, mesdames and messieurs, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. One of my favorite photos I took over a few months who did really well on social media. If you don't know who I am, my name is Serge Ramadi. I am a French photographer from the amazing, the incredible city of Paris, France, and I make two tutorials per week. My work is in 120 galleries around the world, and I've sold seven coffee table books, which are international bestsellers. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a full retouching workflow on how to get this photo. All right, so for this retouching, I'm gonna use Adobe Lightroom Classic 14.2 release, and I'm gonna show it to you on this photo, which is one of my favorites. So on this one, we are going to open the shadow, bring on the highlights. Uh, well, actually not bring on fully the highlights. I'm gonna do my black point. That's my usual workflow. So for that, you, if you're on a Mac, you have to hold on the Option key. If you're on a Windows, you have to hold on the Alt key. And you set a good, uh, on this one, we want a very strong black point. You see what you see here in yellow and red and orange is fully black. And then you're gonna reveal the photo with the whites. Okay, I wanna reveal the photo a lot and maybe boost the exposure. So you do that until you have an exposure that you like. Now, it was a lot more blue when I saw it. So, you know, I can go in here and I wanna give it a special look on this one. First, let's make it straight by going all the way down here to transform and click on transform. Good. Now it's very straight. And check this out. I wanna give it a very strong look. So let's see what daylight is going to give us. Daylight is kind of cool because it's very blue. And then we have cloudy, which is like a classic. Ooh, cloudy is kind of cool. But I want to give it a color cast. I want to give it like a night feeling. So I think I'm going to go back to daylight. I'm just going to add even more magenta to give it like a very blue magenta look. I really like that a lot. Okay. Now, once you've done that, we can go here, and this is where I start doing colors, right? I nailed the white, uh, the exposure. I nailed the white balance. And I'm going to go here, and you can see there's a whole bunch of profile there. And I never like to use the profile from Lightroom, although there was a, you know, there's a new kind of profile that came out. I never use it. I always go to the section called Camera Matching. This was shot with a Fuji camera, and Fuji has this crazy Velvia Vivid Pro. Well, look at that. It's a very, yeah, very magenta. I'm going to click on that profile. And it's a little too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back down the magenta and back down the blue a little bit. But yes, now I kind of like the colors. So you do your exposure, you do your white balance, and then you can do your profile there and really adapt the colors. Now, on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first use one of the new options that came out very recently, which is the use generative AI. Now, it's been there for months, but it was bug as it could be bug. Check this out. Now they really did a good job. If I select like this graffiti here and this graffiti here, for example, and this bike here and whatever that's going on, there's so much going on in this photo. And I want to take that out and click on remove. Boom. I'm going to show you, you can download presets. So in one click, you get a very similar result using my preset. I'm going to show that to you at the end. And the presets, you can download the AI preset just under this video. But look how clean it is now. It's much cleaner. That's one of the things that I find in this new version of Lightroom that's good. But now I want to show you something else. If you go here and take a little brush, okay? Now, you got to be very careful when you use a brush. You see if the feather is all the way down to zero and the flowing density is very high and exposure is high. When you brush, especially on the dark photo, you're gonna get this, which is not very realistic. Now, if you take the feathering all the way to 100 and you brush, you get this, which is better. But then if you lower the flow and density even more and you brush, it's very subtle. And now you lower a little bit the value and now it's very subtle. And that's what we want. I wanna make the lights of the city really glow. So for that, I'm gonna erase this and I'm gonna go back to brush. And a little secret I have on, when, on this kind of photo, and don't tell anyone, is I put the feather all the way to 100, flow intensity in the 70s, exposure a lot, like, but under one, it has to be under one, and only for night photos, and then minus clarity to give it like a bit of a haze. And I do that on the photo, on anything which is bright here, here, and maybe on this light here, and on this light here. And check it out, before, after, it really makes the center of the photo pop, I think to make it even more, I'm gonna lower the overall exposure of the photo, like that. Now the sky is a little too bright. My eyes goes too much to the sky, so let's, they also improve the masking feature in this version of Lightroom. So if you like to select the mask, you can go here 
and lower a bit the exposure like that so that we are focused more inside of the photo. What I want to do on this one is I want to take a radial gradient in the middle and I think I want to add a bit of exposure. I really want to get people inside of my photo. So I'm, I'm going to make it slightly brighter in the middle and then I'm going to go here and duplicate an invert mask. And by duplicating an invert mask, I can lower the exposure. And now I get an even more vignette effect. Look at this, before all the dodge and burn and after, look how it changes the photo. It's kind of incredible. I think I want to clean up a little bit more the photo by just taking out all these guys here. Make sure you don't take out the lamps, but these guys are like a little too much. So use the AI feature to do this. Now, if you're like me and you're passionate about photography, you know, and you're not winning awards, you're not getting published, I freed up a few spots next week. Let's talk, you can book a call with me, and I can help you become an award-winning photographer. If you're not really happy, let's work together one-on-one. -on -one. Give me a call. All right, so now I want to show you something crazy. So you see, all I did this was using, you know, manual settings. Now, let's see the state of how sharp it is. I think this was a high ISO photo. I shot it by hand. Yeah, 1000 ISO. So I want to clean up the photo a little bit. It's got too much noise. And check this out. So you can right-click and go to on hands. And I'm going to go to denoise. And I'm going to do a very low number because like 30 should be enough on this one. It's only 1000 ISO. And I, I just want to clean up. So you can see the before and after the photo. And this is a feature that's actually going to create a new raw file, but with a denoise option. Now, you, I have a very fast computer. If you don't have a fast computer or you're on Windows, some people can take up to 20 minutes. I do it in 20 seconds. But while it does that, I want to show you something really cool. What it does is new Dino is I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my AI preset here. So I'm going to go AI Blue Hour. Boom, one click. I can just make it even more blue, make it even more dark. But one click, guy, one click and I got that. Again, you can download the, the preset. It's a very small zip file. All you have to do is you download the preset, you give me your email address, I'm going to send you the preset and I'm going to give you my latest training on camera settings, on composition and on post-processing. This is the best training I've done in 10 years. You're going to get a very low price if you go through that link. And then you just download the preset like on your desktop and you just go to file, import develop profile preset, just click on the zip file, click on import and boom, you have that and it's ready to go in one click. So this is the final photo. It's very clean. It's got no noise. Make sure you subscribe. I've got crazy video coming up. Get the preset and get the training. I'll see you in the next video.